And we are back. Wow, that was uh, pretty loud. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Um, okay, so I received a new product from NSI, and I will show you what it is. So thank you, NSI, for, for the product to uh, show people on my thank channel. You. This is what I received. Uh, and I actually have used this product in the past, but just a one in a jar. So this is the Balance balance gel. It's a hard gel and it's a builder in a bottle, but it's a hard gel. Um, and it comes in a blush and in clear. It's pretty straightforward. It's a little bit thicker than I expected. So it has kind of, uh, you can see kind of this That's a builder in a bottle. Yeah, it is a builder. I think the original uh, balance was a little bit thicker, but what I did with this, because I wanted to see, I actually put this one on top of uh, uh, a wax heater, which is not set too high or anything, just to make it a little bit more fluid, because I'm kind of afraid that the other one is not going to flow on the mm. nail really well. So uh, we will do um, one on one hand and one on the other one. But first, we have to prep these nails. I like to always scrub the nails. Um, I know some companies recommend just brushing off the the, uh, the dust and putting a like a dehydrator, but I just find that scrubbing the nail like this, it really creates a better end result. Because I want anything that sits on that nail that shouldn't be there off the nail, scrubbing it off. Actually, I think it was um, Samuel Sweet said that once that, you know, there's a big difference between, you know, when you try to uh, wash the floor, there was a difference between washing the floor and scrubbing it with a broom, no, not broom, the, what is it called, mop, then just um, spraying something on it, right? And like removing dust and spray. Okay, I need both hands. Okay, now we're gonna use the bonder. I don't have uh, the balance comes. Actually, now they streamlined all the bonders, and there was no separate bonders for acrylic and for gel. So I think now it's called I don't know bond. I think that's it. In the new packaging. So it's air dry. Type of bonder. You want to make sure you don't touch the skin. This one. Is this the first time I'm doing your nails? Why do you say that? You're like forgetting which one is next. Actually, this can go on the whole thing. Okay, let's do the balance clear first. The builder and a bottle. The builder and a bottle. Okay, you want to make sure that this one is dry for about a minute. It's not going to dry to a chalky white. I'm just going to kind of uh, wipe off the excess. 
and they have amazing brushes check it out so I'm going to do two coats and the first coat it's going to be thin and the second coat I'm gonna kind of try to float a little bit kind of funny because uh, it, uh, it's kind of thick but once you start working with it it kind of um, kind of goes on well I like the brush I was kind of afraid that such a short brush is going to put too much pressure on the nail and it's just going to make the application not very easy, but that's not the case. Okay, so uh, put this one in the lamp for a few seconds. I just like to do that because um, sometimes when we're working on the thumb, uh, the pinky can drip a little bit, or all the nails can drip a little bit. Although with such thin coats, it's not usually the case, but I don't know, it's a safety thing. Am I twisting? No. No, okay. Okay, there is a fluff in here. Okay, I'm gonna do this with my hand and I'm gonna wipe the hand very, very well. Okay, go some light. And alcohol. Because with the finger I can feel the what I'm doing. It actually covered very well. The second coat, it doesn't need to be probably floated on. Floated on? Yeah. Yeah, floated on. Don't have to yeah, float yeah. it on. Yeah. It looks like there is quite a lot, <clears throat> enough product, basically. And now with this one, I'm just gonna push a little bit more in this, in the grout area. So not necessarily floating, but kind of Try to make sure that there is a enough product there. So it almost looks like it kind of, after a few seconds, it just levels nicely. And for this kind of length, honestly, you can apply probably two thin coats, it's plenty. Hmm. Do you see how much I'm putting? Very little. Yeah, very little. Very, very little. I'm impressed with just one coat, actually. I know, eh? So it mm -hmm. almost kind of... Because I've been staring at my thumb and... Mm-hmm. I'm really impressed. Actually, flash cured this one. Sometimes there is no reason to overcomplicate stuff. Why would you mean? Well, because sometimes uh, I think people do too much because... Uh, you just feel that like put too much product or just just too many steps sometimes uh. 
Just keep it simple. Yeah, keep it simple. It looks like this gel needs, again, I'm gonna do this with my finger. I'm really sorry, but with kind of such short nails, I have to do this and then I'm gonna wipe it really well in alcohol. Okay, so this one goes in here, just to make sure that I don't see it's clean. And now we're going to use, on the other hand, the blush because it's gonna be um, almost the same. Hold on a second. Okay, so on the other hand, we're gonna do the blush because the blush looks almost um, almost clear. And I warmed this one up a little bit, so we'll see how this goes. Sometimes for warming, you can uh, put it on top of. Uh, I don't know what it's called, a candle warmer or something? Yeah. <clears throat> candle warmer, coffee warmer. Mm -hmm. Some difference. You know, I'm going to try to do this in one coat. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, good. it's an interesting experiment. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. You know, I think we're going to do two coats. Because <laughs> sometimes, yeah, you kind of lose control over the gel, let's not get too greedy. Although I have to say this one looks pretty damn good. Okay, so let's just flush clear this one. I just don't want the, the finger to move too much. The finger, the, uh, the product <laughs> on the pointer finger. Okay, pull it out. So for those who do gel polish only and don't do hard gels, this is a good kind of uh, introduction to hard gels with this brush for sure. Again, I'm really sorry I'm doing this with my finger. But I really get need to get in there and wipe with the wet alcohol here. Okay. Okay, and a second coat. On this nail, I'm not even gonna do a second coat because there's enough. And it leveled perfectly.
I'm actually surprised that the two coats are giving the nails such good coverage. Even the one coat. Um, yeah, flash carrot. So the blush looks actually clear. Right? It just has a hint. Yeah, and I see no shrinking, not, no pulling away, no weird stuff happening. One thing that kind of concerned me a little bit is that uh, because it's such a thick consistency when you keep putting the brush back in it creates little bubbles but which you kind of can see almost when i'm applying again i'm gonna wipe this again i'm really sorry it's important not to be doing this with your bare hands and i'm going to clean this with alcohol okay go some light so yeah, there was initially a little bit of bubbles in the gel, the first couple strokes that I do, but the, it's going away after a couple more strokes. So the, the little bubbles go away. So we will see how the gel cures if it is shiny. Okay, so this is cured. I like to wipe the gel twice. What I often do is I put some cleanser into a bottle like this and I wipe the nails again. Because you want to make sure that none of that sticky layer is uh, left on the nail. So I'm just gonna clean up the free edge. I always do that with hard gels and that does not cause any separation in the long run. Sometimes there is a little catches that can bother clients. So you wanna make sure that you wanna, that you smooth everything out. They actually feel quite, uh, I don't want to say thick, but quite substantial, not flimsy. Oh. You know what I notice here? A little dullness here. You know, and this is uh, usually actually the kind of a problem that clients have is this side of the thumb. When they're curing it, I don't know if you can see, it's not as, um, as shiny. And then this is the thumb that people normally use a lot. So that's where usually you get chips, right? So you wanna make sure when you put your hand in the lamp, that it's not kind of like this, right? Because this, it's just even lifted because the bulb is usually here. So just for, you know, a few more seconds, just put your hand in light with the thumb just raised a little bit, just to make sure, flat. And let's wipe this. This 
one's a little bit less shiny. Just all the way around or the thumb? No, all of them. Okay. Maybe. Well, it was the blush one too, right? I don't know. This looks really good. So this is it. I'm not gonna be uh, finished filing anything. These nails look good for this length for sure. If you're doing much longer nails, then definitely you can kind of perfect them a little bit, but I really don't feel the need for additional filing here. How do they feel? Good, good, normal. Yeah, everything feels good. No tightness, nothing. Oh, you see? Mm -hmm. no. no, everything's fine. Okay, so here you go, guys. Let me know if you use Balance or if you've used the original one and what you think about it. And also let me know if you've heard about this new builder in the bottle by NSI. Let me know how you like it. And I will see you later. And I'm actually going to do a two-week follow-up with these nails as well. So I'm going to post it on Patreon, probably. Yeah. Or just post a quick video with the follow-up as well, just so you know how this is wearing. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.